and welcome back guys welcome back to let's play one and only the rock of ages yes there it is a rock oh wait that's a building well those rocks of ages whatever anyway welcome back welcome back we have a new great news to be honest yeah, amazing news that I'm so glad that I was so worried that shit might happen crazy stuff crazy stuff <laughs> can happen um, the shitty steam and fucking game you will finally said no to paid mods well for now at least this fucker is gonna come back though he thinks he's saving PC gaming but he can go fuck himself along with all the mothers who accepted that shit okay the money has been in fucking PC gaming since I well since I know it was from doom with wads of course they're mods but <laughs> wads nonetheless and what shouldn't they also deserve money <laughs> like of, of course not Fuck that shit. I don't I do not I just don't like that prospect of mothers earning money. Any money from that like that way. Uh, people will remember you if you're a great mother and you will I mean people will say, you know what, you deserve money because you're a mother, you bring, bring fantastic stuff, great great freaking mods, fantastic sexy mods. Right? Donate button. There you go. If people wanna donate, they will donate. If they don't wanna donate, they won't donate. It's a fucking hobby, people. It's not about, oh, well, you know, like, we deserve... No, it's a fucking hobby. Fuck off, bitch. Okay, fuck off. It's a hobby. Get over it. Get a fucking job. It's a hobby. The end. People who think otherwise can go fuck themselves. It's a hobby. If you can actually succeed in your hobby becoming your fucking job, good for you. But you ain't gonna be remembered because you were free first and foremost and all of a sudden you wanna be earning money from the same mod on steam fuck off bitch you will immediately be remembered as a one of those people who just said fuck to the community that made for many many years in this case oblivion scar and morrowind you tell them fuck off i'm gonna earn money while other guys are like well why shouldn't i just then make free mods if people can earn money like you know it splits the community up, you fucking retards. It kills a community to those that do not even understand half of it. It splits up the community. It already did, man. It already motherfucking did. It just killed half, if more, of the community that Skyrim ever had on Nexus, for instance. And Nexus is the main site for Skyrim mods. Oblivion mods, well many mods actually for many games, but specifically at this point Skyrim we're talking about. It will now be so much damaged because of that bullshit. That those modders that you praised once that accepted the calling of the of the dollar are fucked. They can't go back to Nexus because nobody wants them anymore there. You split up the community, you killed some of the great martyrs because of that. And of course I'm thankful for that. Fuck you martyrs who accept the money like that. Fuck Game Newell for even doing that, thinking that he can save PC gaming. You little son of a whore, you fat piece of shit. Game Newell, fuck yourself. Mods existed before your fucking wall. Wall? Valve? Valve. That's the fucking thing with the valve. Fuck off, bitch. And your steam fucking DRM. Anyway, that's why you should always pirate games. Great stuff. Fucking retard thing you can save gaming like that, moron. Oh, okay, that, that that aside, guys, that aside, I just had to say something because I was just tired of that bullshit. I was so fucking... That, was, that would have been the end of the PC game, but already, as I said, the community has been split up. It was the GG for all of us when it comes to Skyrim and next coming of the Christ, which, of course, will be not moddable, it will be DLCs all the way. <laughs> because again, the Fallout 4 when it comes out, or whatever next comes out, it's gonna have a bunch of DLCs per usual, of course. And of course now you have mods that you have to pay and shit like that. Because this is gonna continue, this is gonna continue, because Gabe thinks, oh he knows better. He, we should continue and start doing hats, like we do for Team Fortress 2, like morons. I don't know, we get a fucking point of people just getting hats and earning money. Oh my god, like, oh my, humanity is doomed. But Jesus, I mean, there are some stupid fucking ways to earn money, and I'm unbelievable that actually Gabe thinks that modding is one of those. Fuck off, bitch. Give the people a job. Let them make a fantastic motherfucking game if you want to. 
earn massive amount of money. Just give these great mothers a fucking chance. Give them a job and fuck up, bitch. Not fucking give them 25% cut while you take the rest. Go fuck your mother, fat prick. Nonetheless, that aside, that aside, let's continue on and rape, pillage and burn some Germans. So here we are, we play as Germans and we shall be moving to Panzerian as per usual, just hoping that that freaking monster that is, of course, the enemy tank is not around, not that close at least towards us. Do remember again, if he is not empty, we are screwed. We have no snipers, we have no snipers that can uh, help us at this point. Uh, maybe to kill out of the guy before he enters, before he recruits the evil Churchill tank. Now, of course, Churchill, we have seen that the damage he can do to all of us. So that's, of course, is, will always be the problem. Is that Churchill is only a little bit overly too strong for us. The massive armor that he has, we have nothing compared. Mind you. But uh, we have many guns, right? So let's hope that all these guns will be able to do some kind of a damage before he can even retaliate. If he can retaliate, consider that some of these vehicles will get owned. Not one shot it, but maybe the 263 will get sh up shot at like nobody's bitch. Let's see. Okay, we can immediately run away if we get overly too close. There it is, the Churchill. If we can take that, I wouldn't mind. Actually, that's... Uh, sorry, I was thinking that's a 75 mm gun, that's a 57 mm gun. Nonetheless, the massive armor that he has. Look at that armor. 666. That's a 6-6 six, six arm. I wouldn't mind getting him. That would be a perfect opportunity for me to rape, pillage, and burn some children here. But it doesn't really matter. Let's get into the night. Maybe I said the Jeep is the, probably the best freaking vehicle yeah, we can get here. We will we'll get the Jeep. <laughs> we will be getting the Jeep. <laughs> uh, also, guys, you know what? We have killed guys here, right? How much range? Okay, we can try and destroy this building and see our Reichstag 3 in action. We because you can see, because reality-wise, never before we have seen him in action. <laughs> he immediately opened that mother humping fire. Uh, free room, zero. So these little tents are, well, you can't really put guys in there, <laughs> so to speak. And you can't really defend from there. Or nonetheless, also these tents, come on. You can't consider this as a much of a defense. Like, armor is 50. Well, sorry, armor is 1, but 50 hit points. Like, come on. Okay, that aside, let's get a little bit closer just to cover that area for our Freund there. There is a sniper, there is a freaking sniper, the evil sniper that wants to kill us. There's a sniper, guys, there's a sniper overlooking our area and the only way to kill him is with Reich. With Reich, yeah, maybe. Oh, he's too, like, freaking... Okay, look at the Panzer 4 Gs like range look at that monster i'm gonna try and go over this position with pencil for you i don't know why much <laughs> that would actually be quite bad probably for him but there you go that range he can't see us the inner circle is his area of what he can see so he's being bombed by someone he, have, he has no idea what's happening actually at this point uh, but thankfully we see him with our beautiful 263 of course as you have seen the scouts are barely visible you have to get very close to them to actually see them and that's of course quite cool because we can really utilize the scouts the way we want to utilize them and that's sexy like a beast so <laughs> the Panzer 4G has the biggest range of them all well uh, Panzer 4G and the, our Citadel Panzer 4 has like the biggest freaking range that's sexy of course I support that completely let's like do this excellent let's do this let's do this get over here hopefully he got, ain't gonna get seen from this position if he does well that's gonna be a GG for us someone's gonna own him from the side that I can't really overlook every freaking every freaking time so that's gonna be scary Okay, move up, guys. Come on, move up. Okay, oh man, oh, first Churchill, people. First motherfucking Churchill. I'm getting it. I'm getting that Churchill. I'm getting that motherfucking Churchill. The medic will drive the Churchill. Uh, though I believe I would be losing something out of it. Let's see. We have a saboteur, sappers, whatever. They, they're they gonna be carrying one. I don't, I'm not gonna utilize him in this level, but I'm gonna keep him for the next. Who knows what's gonna happen in the next. Um, yeah, maybe, who knows, maybe another command mission where you can actually maybe choose one or five or eighteen tanks, who knows? Evil stuff happened before. And evil stuff happened before, that Churchill, man, it, it tells me it is a secret objective, but I'm not so certain. I believe the secret objective is just to destroy every single piece of artillery possible. We shall see, of course. 
we shall see. Uh, pan uh, that is the Stug, come on attack. Reich, Reichstag attack. Look at that damage he's doing. And there you go, kill, 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 kill. Thank you. Hopefully these guys just, well, they don't care at all for getting in the Churchill. He, they, they're like, eh, I don't need that Churchill, I can do it with my rifle. But they can't really see who is actually shooting at them, it would seem. Nonetheless, even though they were in those tents of evil, there's a medical tent, there are a bunch of tents here. I'm gonna clear this crap out, and maybe, if we're, well, not really, maybe, 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 maybe we're gonna go around and attack them from the sides here, you know, like a beast, uh, put a few units here, like, maybe the one or two tanks, Churchill, yes, a Churchill can stand here for NK, because I'm afraid the enemy might utilize this location as a coming point for some unknown reason. You know, there has to be a reason to a reason, but they could do some evil shit if they try to retreat maybe and screw my mission up and I don't get my secret objective. If I don't get my secret objective, I'm gonna cry, of course, but I mean, we're not even close to getting the tiger, <laughs> even if we do all these objectives. Uh, sadly, uh, but hell's bells. Uh, I don't mind. I mean, I don't mind really. Uh, whatever the next objective truly is, it's gonna be scary. So yeah. I mean, whatever next mission is, that is, it's gonna be scary as hell. Okay, let's get our 263. Okay, there is a rifleman. Here. Okay, let's get the Panzer 4 right here. Come on. Excellent shot. Excellent shot. Let's get our stock. Come on, move, move, move. Excellent, excellent. Oh, they're going for the, for the Churchill. Oh, they were going for the Churchill. Okay, baby, that's telling me something good. That's telling me that they wanted the Churchill. They wanted the Churchill. Yes, you're a freaking tank. You should be able to actually just, well, can go through those little palm trees or what the fuck ever they are. Uh, okay, let's get a little bit closer. Let's overlook. Okay, excellent, excellent. And now, of course, first kill all the buildings, well, buildings, all those tents, so I can move my freaking infantry inside, and, of course, inside him without them getting shot by some unknown factor. There you go. Told ya. <laughs> those bastards think, were thinking that I was already too awesome and kind, and now I'm not, and now my sapper that doesn't have to worry about anything anymore can get inside and be sexy like a beast with his Luga. He will enter that Churchill and be a beast. Look at that Churchill. Our first Churchill, people. Our first mother humping Churchill tank. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can someone else get it? Well, visibility for these guys is useless. So, yeah. I'm gonna get two guys there. We have another okay rifleman. Here we have a scout inside of this vehicle. <laughs> what? Wait, I have a scout inside of the Blitz. Oh, God. <laughs> like, I should give it to some better unit than that. Or, uh, but at least I have another scout. That's always a very important thing, having more scouts, not just inside the 263. We have a medic and a scout. Yeah, visibility reduced. Okay, let's get inside. <laughs> so yeah, visibility reduced as soon as we get. So two is a minimum, like, uh, even if you have a scout, you just need two guys inside to have the best fucking view, it would seem. Of course, with the, with the scout, you get the best freaking view. But hell's bells. And you can't stack that bullshit though. You can have three scouts inside. It would still not stack. Like we won't have like massive, massive range. Dead aside, we finally have a Churchill. Let's taste this. Let's taste his valor. His valor is strong. Yeah, there you go. Immediately kill someone in that medical tent. He was thinking he was cool to hide there. Like I'm wounded, guys. No, you're not. You're dead. No, you're dead completely. But you're dead. Uh, I, maybe we have to destroy this. I'm gonna destroy every single thing possible. Thank you very much. Whatever this was. <laughs> like, that looked strange and could be that have been something very important for the enemy. Maybe a secret objective. I'm destroying everything. Like, fuck that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy fucking everything for a secret objective. Okay, so I'm gonna first clear as much as I can with these main forces, then move back here again. That we only have the Panzer 3N, and we have, of course, the SAM with 90mm gun, and of course, the 633, which is our epic artillery unit. Uh, maybe we have to take one of these as a secret objective instead of destroying them. Mm, I could move my 633 to this position, yes, here, 
and I might be able to open fire on this position if I get overly too close. Let's try that out. Let's get 633 at this position here, and we'll see how that's gonna go. So, see all these wrecks? It's epic. I love that they actually stay in the freaking game. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Again, many 3D games today don't just allow that, and plus, of course, the bodies themselves. I mean, sure, they will usually drop in a certain position, the same position from time to time, but I don't mind that. I prefer to have a bunch of dead bodies on the ground because it's sexy like a beast. And it's cool, and people love it. Okay, now, Churchill, move up. <laughs> Look how slow he is. Look how slow he is. 57 and 80 gone, man. Fuck that. A lot of damage, 42 of course, but still, look at that monster. He is a monster. We're not talking about anything else but the Churchill here. He is a ultimate massive monster of massive destruction. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna move the Reich Stag and the Churchill. That will be going to the right, I believe. The rest of them will go, of course, the Panzer IV will go to the left. And of course, Citadel will go to the left, the Panzer 3 and will go also to the right, just for in case. Just for in case, guys. Okay, the range, well, not even close to do anything, but that's okay. Uh, so what the hell are you? You are only a rifleman. Okay, open fire. Open fire. Now, of course, our stock right high accuracy manager for a regular start that's his specialty at this point but I don't think that just because he's right he's just a better freaking unit overall he has a machine gun on top I don't know if he actually utilizes even though we have all the guys inside I don't see a guy outside actually controlling that machine gun so uh, but they probably do like if they get overly too close to the minimum that's minimum range as you can see the maximum range and the minimum range for the machine gun opening fire as you can see again on Churchill the same thing so it's epic sexy like I must say the game is sexy like a beast um, I'm just enjoying it how much you can do in the game so you have many options the way you want to play you have the dig in and dig out command it takes time actually to dig in and dig out it doesn't just go like snap and that's it that's cool also it's very cool and yeah it's, it's quite an enjoyable game I can't wait to show you maybe some other games in this series like Bell of the Bulge or maybe D-Day one of these maybe probably did that because I mean Normandy setting at the moment I liked of course the Africa setting that's never a problem truly it's an evil setting people love it sexually arouse it sexy like a beast it's all the good stuff now if I actually went to the left side with all these forces you can see the tightness of these areas I don't want to risk my tightness there no it, it would be very tight <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm gonna go with some units to the right and the other units to the left and stuff like that are we be able are we even able to fire at these bastards no I guess not uh, I don't I can't see his max range on the minimap so we see a press there and he's of course gonna go around like nobody's bitch hmm well he's gonna go to the right also I believe he's gonna go to the right okay so yeah this is the army that goes on the right this is the army that goes back no 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 you stay there you stay there okay excellent excellent okay so these guys are my guys to go back yeah let's go back here Excellent. Move in. Move in. We have a scout. That's good enough to me. I don't have. I don't mind having this. Only this scout uh, for my scouting purposes. So that's okay. Uh, the blitz. Mm, well, there's gonna be like only one thing protecting there. I mean, protecting, so to speak. The Reich, the Panzer III N, and Churchill. Now Churchill only has two crew members inside, so that could pose a problem. Primary weapons accuracy decreased. Increased by firing rating decreased. Mm. So yeah, the increased firing rates and of course accuracy. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that as it is for now. Okay, let's clean up the right flank as much as possible and hopefully not get owned by an unknown enemy factor. Of course, the possibility of enemy actually having a massive amount of units on this position specifically, well, <laughs> it would be a problem because who knows what can we expect we have to do a nice overall or big circle and the enemy locations well they're already to the right so the possibility of them having another division of the enemy tanks right here would be a problem so let's first and foremost save like a little beast we are excellent 
excellent and then we can of course move in and sexually arouse ourselves now we can move freely because I've said if there's go something really bad we can just reload like a little bit but first I want to set up the defense screen on the right before we go into the left side because again the point is to stop enemy retreat if any but I'm afraid of that gap if that gap looks very tempting like there is a reason for it out there it's I mean of, of course I mean, they're not just gonna stick themselves between the mountains and stuff like that like it's a last stand but still I'm worried about these parts I can't set up mines so I can't really like uh, set up mines there for in case the enemy tries to do something but I'm thankful I have these beautiful things I mean these things ain't gonna do shit at the end of the day they're not that combat effective against enemy armor but at the end of the day I just need them to hold off their certain position for in case if the enemy tries to do something intelligent if they try to do something intelligent if they don't even give a crap that's okay by me I don't have a, I don't have a problem with that these are of course our eyes 263 there was something here okay the sniper sniper the sniper is there trying to kill off my scout that son of a bitch that son of a bitch he almost killed my my scout yeah, how do you like that? Apples. Bastard. What the hell is this? Oh yeah, that's the 633. Okay, let's go here. I'm thankful that the AI doesn't give two fucks about us actually moving that close. That is the artillery. It doesn't give a crap. If they are shooting in this specific spot, that means that they are not going to retaliate probably. If we, even if we get close to them, we can Blitzkrieg inside, kill all of them and get the fuck out. But do remember there are actually some priests here. I did rewatch that my first, well, the video that is, and uh, the first video when he did the freaking plane before he crashes, we can see the stuff. And what I've seen is that there were definitely a bunch of artillery, not just these. Did, of course, I was to talking about them. I didn't notice these guys behind them, but these guys behind them, it seems they're just static, specific target at artillery. They are just targeting that specific, that is point, and that is the front line of the entire front line. Uh, so that's okay. That, that's totally okay. We can get in, get as close as possible. Again, we can just blitzkrieg our way in, move in, shoot everything, uh, and just run out to the second point. But we're gonna just do a pincer movement, if you will, and just attack them from the both sides. Oh, 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 run away, run away, run away. Your units are under attack. Oh, Gods, I hate that. I was, I was like, oh my god, I was pressing on Hartman. Fuck you, Hartman. Fuck you in the ass. Okay, so there is definitely enemy stuff here defending this angle of an attack, but that's okay. I mean, what we have and what they have is. Your units are under attack. <laughs> Thank you very much. Get a little bit close. Yeah, now we're gonna be seeing enemy units getting close there is an enemy Churchill right there people like right there an enemy Churchill dig in dig in Yeah, come on, bitch, get close. Now we are dug in. We have a massive, massive advantage, hopefully. Yeah. Your units are under attack. There you go, Churchill, you douchebag. That's how we fight here in Germany. We hide behind sandbags like Hitler. <laughs> and we won against this. You see that massive amount of damage upon him, but nothing really can scratch his ass. He doesn't give a shit, but it's okay. We gain levels by doing this with these specific vehicles, and I don't mind if Reichstag gets the beautiful thing. Oh my God! He actually shot me from this angle. That's kind of scary, but thankfully, what we had there is totally a okay. Oh, they're moving their main force from these locations, from the defensive positions up front. With the okay, cruiser ain't gonna do shit. He's already dead. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't. I didn't tell you to move like that. Ah, Churchill attacking from the side. Like a beast. 
Oh, they are going for us. They are going. That Matilda MK2 wants us. <laughs> Look at that bullshit. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard, but I like it. We can do this. Fuck off, bitch. Look at those. That destruction. I love destruction in this game. We're doing it well. Can we repair him? No, we can't. He is on full health. I was thinking he wasn't on full health, so yeah. Well, Blitz is doing his job. He's a perfect for some, the faster repair time and stuff like that. Sex like a beast. And if this asshole tries again to do something, we have on the left line we have the biggest armor we have in the game, right at the moment. Churchill, okay? So he's hitting him from the side. Of course, Churchill has massive armor on the side. So he's 666. He's a massive armored beast of hell. And thankfully, the Stark has a range right there, right here, where if the enemy tries to do something, he's gonna get owned. Okay, before we, while we talk bullcrap, let's hope we, su well, support these guys here with a good normal formation. As you can see, they really have, like, a really bad formation at the moment, so it's not really the greatest thing ever. Okay, while we are doing that, I can turn some of them a little bit up here, thank you very much. Excellent, excellent. Which is the best thing that we have? These defensive for G and the Citadel. Of course, they're gonna stay in the backside. While, of course, I can I can go with this formation. This formation is a good formation. Follow him. You follow him. Turn him around here. Thank you very much. I locked the lock of the Citadel. This is a little bit up close. Finally, it's a sexy beast. So many skirts. He's a sexy beast. He knows that. He knows he's a sexy beast. Okay, excellent. Move on. <laughs> Look at those bishops. Look at those bishops. See, they, they're just owned. They're just freaking owned. Again, they really can't see us unless, you know, like, they get overly too close. You know, that that's a good thing. Okay, okay. We have enemy. Thank you. You're going to die. Yes. How did you know? <laughs> You little bitch, I don't like this formation, it's not a good formation. God damn it, look at this bullcrap. Honestly, this is for you, this is a formation? Really? Like, come on, you can... Uh, I mean, I don't like when they don't stick to the formation they were previously in, so to speak. From which they actually moved. I have no idea what we just killed, but we killed something. I believe that was an enemy scout. Probability of that? Yes, big. Like, uh, he was that close, he didn't care, we did not care. Well, we didn't care with our scouts, our scout didn't give a crap. Let's see, what, I said that we have a bunch of more scouts, right? We do have, well, we actually have a ma many massive amount of sappers. Hmm, well, I don't know about our sappers, um, they may have more minefields, we'll see soon enough. I'm not noticing any mines as of yet, but uh, possibility... Your units are under attack. Oh man, look at that. Look at the damage we're doing. It's like epic. Ah, there goes the 633 by Oh, come on, Churchill. Really, that is your position. You dick. We lost the 633, but that's okay. He was a quite useless man, but still, I would have loved to save those men. That would have been a perfect thing. Look at him. He's a, he's a douchebag. It was like, okay, uh, he's actually there. He, he doesn't care. He's like, okay, well, I failed in everything. I should have moved the Sig 33. That was a, my mistake. I was even thinking that someone will sh shoot him like that. But fuck it. You know, I said fuck it. And I lost him. Let's see. An enemy sniper. Get the fuck out of there. Like, you know what? Enemy sniper. Yeah, well, I, you know, I don't want to get close too much towards him. Oh god, almost we lost our stug. That was a close one. That was a close one. That was actually a massive force of enemy units in closing in our position. Almost lost the freaking stug for fuck's sake. 555 five, five armor, mind you. This is a 666. Six, six. Destroy that crusader. I don't think that was this crusader, but could be. That's a lot of enemy units destroyed. I don't like that he's actually moving like this. So I'm gonna leave him here, like this, whole position, and kill anyone in the middle. So you don't get owned. I don't need to lose my more special units. I, again, I'm thankful they're not targeting the 263. The 263 is our eyes and ears towards those locations. And I'm gonna save here again like a little bit because we did a massive damage upon the enemy. 
that was actually a massive damage so we probably cut off all the defenders from the right flank here if not the entire part here that's okay that's great because the left part can just move in swoop in all the enemy crap and be awesome like a beast they are sexy like a beast they are okay scout move in slowly but surely I'm not gonna lose any of my stuff anymore screw that crap I already lost too many good stuff well, not really. They are just some basic crappy tanks. But you know what I'm talking about. Fall back. And there is, of course, an enemy armada of 82 pounders here. Now we have no zigs. So there's going to be... Well, our Panzer IV will be able to do some damage. Let's see. Yeah, the, yeah okay. Stop. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You can see that their view range is shit. They lost the sniper and they lost most of their guys anyway. So all in all, it's a GG for all of us. Sexy like a beast, they say it is truly a truly a a thing of being a sexy like a beast and killing the enemy like this. I love it. Thank you very much. You tried, you tried actually to do something, but it wasn't enough. It truly wasn't enough. Okay, let's get first and foremost Hartman because he has also the best fucking thing possible. I mean, this is a Citadel Ultimate Siege Machine, so why the hell not Galabit? There were, again, there were some German tanks destroyed here. I don't know why and who destroyed them. Why did they destroy them? They could have kept them or some crap like that. Those evil British bastard. Uh, we'll destroy them because of that. Okay, scout up front. Go, go, go. We're getting so close. We de de defeated the defenders of this position. The static defense that is on this position. Hopefully we'll be able to completely destroy and annihilate the enemy positions here. We are getting that close towards them, guys. This is going to be epic. It's going to be a pure slaughter for them or us. It is going to be quite interesting thing indeed. So on this side we have our static 90mm gun manager. And on this side we have a beautiful Reichstag of course with his beautiful 75 millimeter gun sexy like a beast sexy like a beast so again the church doesn't have a 75 millimeter he has a 57 millimeter well okay it's quite understandable i screwed myself up there i'm not sexy enough and churchill knows that churchill mm, that motherfucker knows that uh, that i'm not sexy enough but we will we'll be playing with the allies at some point maybe who knows i mean we're following a storyline so to speak so hell's bells I'm not gonna heal him because he, of course, all these Panzer Force E's and, and N's are, Panzer 3 N's are, well, they're there again just to absorb the damage that the enemy does, hopefully. And not lose like Reichstag and stuff like that. I don't know if you have more after they get destroyed. At the moment, we never lost any of these special units. We almost lost the Reichstag, though. That fucking Blitz was moving all, all over the place because of the vicinity mode. But. Yeah, that that would have been bad if there was like only one special and then like oh oh well I, I quite understandable if there was just only one special bastard. Let's get to the right here just to notice maybe there's something between these palm trees for in case who knows if they have those. Uh, run! Oh, you cut damn cockers! We just lost our eyes, people. We just lost our eyes. And I don't have anyone to replace them. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I don't have anyone else to replace that bullshit. Okay, someone... Okay, that was a priest shooting at us. Oh, man. So someone did see us. This is gonna be a problem. The priests could do a massive damage. Plus, they have probably some AT guns positioned in these parts. I don't know how to get close now. Uh, with no, with no sc uh, scouts. Like, mm, there was a scout in one of the vehicles, if I remember correctly. Yes, in Blitz, there's a scout that we really don't need inside. So yeah, <laughs> we have two scouts. Oh man, this is gonna be a problem. I don't know how to get there. 
I mean, I, I mean, I know how to get there, but so this this point here has been tremendously lost just because of the scout. I know they probably had their own scout somewhere, saw that fucking asshole. So there are a bunch of freaking priests. If we can damage them, hit and run tactic with the most basic tanks, I wouldn't mind. Like get the Panzer 4E and Panzer 3 and there. We lost the Sig 33, which was our only artillery gun. So I'm thinking of moving these guys into attack pattern and just rape, pillage and burn whatever we can there. And let's see how that's gonna go. Let's save, of course, if something bad really happens. Well, 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 everything bad happens, so what can you do, you know, like... You try to save as many people as you can, but shit happens. So what I'm gonna do is mass assault upon the enemy positions. <laughs> I'm gonna get go all my tanks and see how that's gonna go. For the first time, we're gonna do a true blitzkrieg just into them out of them and fuck off guys and going home uh, I mean there probably has to be a bunch of tanks more here but you know what you know what nobody cares move in attack pattern Delta go 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 let's see it I'm gonna reload of course if this goes really bad but else fails we have the Panzer 4 e up close and personal so if something really bad happened yeah they can shoot on the move yeah bitches what what Yeah, motherfuckers, Panzerkriege, ja bitte, oh, bitches, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be losing Panzer 4E, but that's okay. Well, we really don't have to fight. I mean, we already won. Not the Citadel! Wow! Come on, killed by a Mark 6. That's impossible. No! That's okay, that's okay. We reload. Well, this actually went well, but yeah. We have to do a like attack from all the sides. There's just no way for other. I mean, we could do this, but it would be overly too slow with what we have. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna leave these guys behind. So I'm gonna return to this position and just attack like nobody's bitch. From this position, we'll be moving up front now. Hopefully, uh, we killed enough so we can just attack them from the sides. Move, move, move. Okay, I I don't like when it's always in pause mode. What else, bells? No. Anyway, we know what. Stop. Stop, we're gonna save, we have saved. <laughs> so we're gonna reload next time, I wish you all the best. For the next time it's gonna be a very short video at the end of the day. Uh, but we'll think, maybe it won't, because I don't wanna lose many tanks as, you, as it is, but, you know, crap happens. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, wish you all the best, guys. Be well.